Hey third graders, it's Miss Williamson. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd. You will be watching this recorded this video lesson with me. You will not have small groups today with your teacher, but you will have an independent assignment to work on. Let's start out with a number talk. I see a doubles fact here, 10 plus 10. This is a doubles fact because it's adding the same number twice. So 10 plus 10 is and number, talk, number talks always happen in our heads. We do the math without our fingers and without a pencil. So 10 plus 10, we should be able to do in our heads and get 20. 20. We can use our doubles fact of 10 plus 10 to help us add 10 plus 11. I see that 11 is one more than 10. So my answer is going to be one more than 20. Shout it out when you know it. 10 plus 11 is 21. Your learning target for today is I can subtract three digit numbers using base 10 blocks. Boys and girls, we have been working on adding with base 10 blocks and number lines and with just numbers on our paper using expanded form. But now we're gonna learn how to do all of these things with subtraction. So before we jump into a problem, let's review some math vocabulary. When you see the word, the keywords, how many more and how many less, you need to automatically think of subtraction. How many more and how many less really want you to find the difference between two numbers. When you find the difference between two numbers, you're subtracting. So let's try a quick example, an easy example. Here's a math question below. There are six bananas and five apples in Miss Williamson's kitchen. How many more bananas are there than apples? So I see those keywords how many more, oops, my pen is in white. I see those keywords, how many more? So I automatically think subtraction. So I'm gonna subtract five from six to get one to solve this math problem. I do. Put your pencil down and just watch. Catherine is throwing a birthday party celebration for her quinceanera. Ooh, that's exciting. She loves the colors purple and pink. She orders 154 pink balloons, and she orders 225 purple balloons. How many more purple balloons than pink balloons does she have? I just underlined my entire question that this math question is asking me to do. I see the keywords how many more so I know that I need to subtract. My math equation is going to be my bigger number minus my smaller number. So 225 minus 150. I am going to create a place value chart to keep all of my base 10 blocks organized. When subtracting with base 10 blocks, you only need to model, you only need to model your first number. I'm not gonna model 154 with base 10 blocks, but I am gonna write the numbers 154 in the boxes. I have 100, that I need to take away, five tens that I need to take away, and four ones that I need to take away. I have this row up here, and just in case I need to regroup anything, okay? So let's start out at the ones column. We always do subtracting. We always start our subtraction by taking away our ones first, then our tens, then our 100s. So four, I need to subtract four 
from 5. So I'm going to cross out 4 once. I see that there is one one left. So I'm going to write down at the very bottom of my chart how many ones I see that are left. I only see one one left. I've subtracted my ones. Now I need to subtract my tens. I see two tens and I need to take away five. I don't have enough, so I need to regroup. I'm going to regroup a 100. I'm going to get rid of the 100 and break it apart into 10 tens. Now I see a total of 12 tens. And remember, boys and girls, this number down here tells me how many I need to get rid of, how many I need to cross out. I need to cross out five tenths. So I'm gonna cross them out one, two, three, four, and five. My next step is to count how many tens do I have left over. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven tens remaining. I've subtracted my tens. My final step is to look at my hundreds. My hundreds, I see one hundred left or one flat left. And I'm gonna look down here to see, many, see how many I have to cross out. I need to cross out one of the hundreds. But now, I don't have any hundreds left. So I just write a zero at the bottom of my chart. And this is my final answer, 71. Do you see how my chart helped me keep, helped keep me organized, especially when regrouping? Now it's your turn to help me with my next problem. Pick up your pencil and write exactly what I write. You're gonna walk, be what me, you're going to be walking me through the steps. Okay, Tybee Island, Georgia is where hundreds of sea turtles come to shore every year. And when turtles lay their eggs, the temperature of the sand can determine the gender of the turtle. That means if there's hot sand, there's gonna be a boy turtle. If there's cold sand, there's gonna be a girl turtle. Hmm, that's interesting. That's actually true. Last summer, Maria counted 562 females and 548 males. How many fewer males than females hatched last summer? I see those keywords again, how many fewer? So I know now that I'm going to be subtracting. I set up my equation with my bigger number minus my smaller number, 562 minus 448. This should actually say 448. That's a little bit of a typo. Now, pause the video and see if you can't recreate the chart I had on the last page. Okay, I hope you set it up like this. We start out by making a spot to add in our hundreds, then our tens, then our ones. Don't forget to have this row up here so you can keep track of what you're regrouping. If you did not draw your chart correctly, go ahead and pause the video now and redraw it. So I only have to model my first number when I'm subtracting base 10 blocks but I am going to add 448 to my chart, just so I can see everything in the columns. I'm gonna start over here on the side with the ones. Look at my chart. Do you see eight ones that we can take away? 
I don't, which means we need to regroup. We need to regroup a 10 and make 10 ones. Now can we take away eight? Yes, we can. We now have 12 ones. We can cross out eight ones now. Do that on your paper now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I have crossed out all eight ones. How many am I left with? Count them up. If you got four, you are correct. Now I need to subtract my tens. Well, I already got rid of this one, but I see that I have four more that I need to cross out and get rid of. I need to cross out four more tens. Let's do this now. One, two, three, Four. How many do you see left? I see zero left. We have no tens left. Okay, we're done with the tens. Now we need to subtract the hundreds. There are five hundreds modeled here with base 10 blocks. I need to cross out or get rid of four. Let's cross them out together. One, two, three, and four. How many hundreds, hundreds do you see left? I only see 100 left. Staying organized in our charts is going to help us get to the correct final answer. Our final answer is 104. There were 104 more females. That's our difference between the females and the males. So remember, when you see the keywords, how many more or how many less, you need to subtract. Remember, you can subtract three digit numbers with base 10 blocks and a place value chart to help keep you organized. You're gonna have an independent assignment to work on. It's gonna be posted in e-class right below this video. Work hard and do your best. Good luck, bye.